Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all 5 scav mags in the new Nuka World DLC. Now I do understand that some people are worried about story spoilers, but you do not have to worry, I have completely eliminated them from this guide. I have went into the buildings, completed the quests and all of that kind of good stuff, so you will not see any spoilers, like story spoilers, in this guide. Also, I would like to say that if you are looking for more Nuka World DLC glitches, tips and guides, make sure to go and check out my channel as I know you guys will enjoy them very much. Anyhow guys, let's get into finding these 5 scav mags. Okay, starting it off with our first scav mag, we need to go to a place called the Star Control in the Galactic Zone. Now guys, I do have to apologize as I did not bring up my Pip-Boy map to show you where this is. But do not worry, you will not have a problem finding out where this is. Just make sure that you go to Star Command and, you know, you go down to the left into the little alleyway here. You will see that we have an expert lock on this gate. We just need to open it up. If we go on through, you will see a burnt out truck. And next to the sleeping bag on the crate right here, you will find scav nice. issue 1. There it is right there guys. And this scav issue actually increases speed challenge success chance, which clearly I need that mag right now because I am mumbling up my words. But yeah guys, now that we've got our first issue of scav, we're going to move on to our second. Okay, now scav mag number two can be found right here on the map at the Nuka World Junkyard. If I just zoom out right there, you can see it's on the very far left hand side of the Nuka World map. Once you get here guys, you will see a barn just like so with a red crate next to the barn door. What we need to do is just enter inside. We need to continue on, kill all of the automatrons that are actually here, go through this door, up this stairway, Turn right, there will be a Raider or two, just make sure that you do take them out, they are pretty lethal in this DLC. Continuing on next to this Raider alien, you will see the Scav issue number 2. Just pick that up, and now you will have a 25% Combat Knife and Switchblade damage uh, increase, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty cool actually, that is a really cool Scav Mag to have, as I am a melee build. Anyhow guys, let's move on to Scav Mag number 3. Alrighty then, scav mag number 3 can be found in the fun house, which you can find on the map just above Kitty Kingdom. It's pretty easy to find guys, it's one of the first things that you actually bump into in this DLC, but there it is right there on the map. And once we get here, we just want to proceed through the front entrance just like so. Once inside, we will be in the fun house lobby, we want to go through the door on the right and we will be in a hallway of mirrors. Guys, I would recommend that you do slow down this video and watch it back to find out which way to go as it is kind of confusing for me to tell you this right now. Also, I would recommend that you do have a shotgun as there are a lot of enemies very close quarters. So as you can see, we're near the exit here, we're actually halfway. Once we go through this cracked mirror, we will see that there is Cappy pointing to the exit. We want to go through here, continue on, turn left, in which this conveyor belt will actually be pushing you back. You need to jump continuously until you make it to the other end. Now you will be at two platforms which are spinning around. They are Nuka-Cola platforms. We want to jump on them. And guys, this next part may make you feel a little bit sick. We want to go straight forward, turn right into this little tube, turn left, and then go all the way forward through this tube too. That makes me pretty sick. But here on the floor, next to the Raider with one leg, we will see Scav Issue nice. number 3. And this Scav Issue will give you a 10% hand-to-hand -hand weapon damage increase, which is pretty cool. Anyway guys, this room is really knocking me sick. It makes me dizzy and ill. So we are going to move on to Scav Mag number 4. Three down, two to go. Now the fourth scav mag that you can find will be in the very bottom left hand side of the Nuka World map, in the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. And to be honest, once you see it, you will know it's the mansion, it's pretty amazing. We want to go through the front doors. Once inside, you want to navigate your way through the actual mansion. I am not going to show you which way to go as it will potentially ruin some story, but don't worry about it guys, I will skip to the end of where you will find the mag. 
Now you will be near the end of the mansion and you will see the exit sign. We do not want to go through that. We want to go right and you will see a red door. You want to pick lock it and then you want to go up to the attic. Here you will find a couple of different surprises but don't worry I have not ruined it. And when you go through the attic on the right right there you will find the scav issue number four. Pretty easy Excellent. guys. This will actually give you a 5% explosive damage increase, which, you know, that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's move on to the last and final scav mag. So there you have it guys, we are pretty much on the last scav mag now, this has been a pretty awesome guide for me to make. Okay, so this mag can be found in the Dry Rock Gulch employee area. It is kind of a force to get to, and it is just to the bottom right hand side of Dry Rock Gulch. Once here, you will see a Nuka-Cola bottle statue. We want to head towards these red crates here. We want to continue up and go up these wooden planks right here, up the ladder. And just watch yourself, there are a couple of enemies and a couple of frag mines about. Just disarm them, kill them. And once we get to the top of this roof here, next to this, I guess, pile of mines, we will find the scav issue number five. And this is probably the most impressive. It gives you a crazy strength endurance bonus if you only have minus 100 caps, or I guess just 100 caps. That was kind of silly. But yes, guys, pretty awesome mag. If you don't get the others, make sure that you do get this one as it is pretty OP. Anyhow, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this guide. If you did, don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out a lot. And please do consider going to my channel as I know you will not be disappointed with the Nuka Cola, Nuka World, DLC, guides, glitches, tips, all that kind of stuff that I have coming up in the next couple of weeks. Anyhow, guys, I do hope that you have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya. Shiny baseball bat. Cito's shiny slugger which is absolutely amazing it does a 370 base damage and it